Hi everyone, welcome back for another Saturday Style. So this is not going to be a Saturday Style live, this is going to be a Saturday Style pre-recorded, um, but hopefully we're all watching together somewhere in the world at half past five on a Saturday, and um, we're going to give this hair, have a look at this hairstyle and you can do it during the week. So, and the thing is, when I'm doing them live with you guys, I feel like I can talk better. When I'm recording myself, I, I fumble my words so much. So um, yeah, these are not edited because they are the Saturday Style Lives, obviously not live, but um, yeah, it's just in real time. So you can do it along with your daughters if you want to. Um, so what we're gonna do today is gonna do a bun style. We haven't done a bun and I, I love a bun. You know I love buns. My little girl goes dancing. This is a great technique to do um, a bun. But before I get started on that, if you are new here, then my name is Anne, and we do the Saturday Style every Saturday at half past five, and I also post videos on a Tuesday and a Friday. Okay, so what I'm going to do to begin with is I want to make a ponytail. So the way I get my ponytails, I've shown you before, but I'll show you again, is I go from the ears and I go across, just with my ping fingers, my fingers, I told you, I just um, get all in the muddle when I'm talking like on a recording, I'm not sure what it is. Okay, so I'm going to comb all the hair up and you can see how I'm holding the hair in this hand and I'm moving all of the hair into it with the comb. Now, the reason I do just the top half is because I find it incredibly difficult to do ponytails with my daughter's hair because it is so thick. So if you've got a daughter with thick hair, then you will know the problems that I go through. If your daughter doesn't have such thick hair, then you maybe don't need to do this, but this is how I do them. So I'm holding the hair with one hand. I've got the top part really, really nicely smooth. Can you see how I've got the hair bubble on my hand? I'm going to go down. So now I'm holding it with this hand, okay? And I'm going to pull the hair bubble across, but I'm not going to let go. I'm going to just take the hair out picked a few hairs there. I'm going to now twist it, then I'm going to swap my hand, pull it across, pull the hair out. And that way I'm less likely to get all those little lumps and bumps and bits that we don't want. Okay, so once you've done a few twists, you can start to be a little bit more like swippy and swappy, like, you know, go from one hand to the other. So there we go, so I've managed to pick up a few bits of hair there, so let's try and get those out. Okay, so I'm going to get that nice and tight, and then I'm going to get my next elastic ready, and I'm going to now brush all of this hair up as high as I can, because I'm going to combine it all with this first ponytail. And then, you can just, it doesn't look like you've got two ponytails, it just is a really good way. I just find to just concentrate on one part. If I try and do it all in one go, I end up just going around, round and around and around and around and I don't get a really great ponytail. But this way, I'm only having to worry about one hand at a time. <laughs> okay, so hair bubble on my hand. I'm going to pull the hair out, keep holding it, not letting go, twisting that elastic. Now I'm going to do that, pull it over. I'm not letting go of the hair though. Now I'm going to get it again, do a twist, pull the hair through, and that is done. And now look at that ponytail. And because I've done that top one, I mean, look how perky it is. It's such a way, it's a great way to do a perky ponytail um, with those two bubbles. But it also, this part acts as like an anchor because then, you know, sometimes you get these like saggy necks just there, don't you? But this is a great way to not get that saggy neck. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to split the hair in half. I'm going to use my comb just so I get a nice parting section in it. Okay, like that. And I'm going to just pop this out of the way. I'm going to use one of these clips because these don't have the crocodile teeth. So hopefully, if I take it out neatly, it shouldn't leave me any lumps and bumps. Okay, now this one down here, I'm going to split this into four. So I'm going to split it down the centre. Okay. Try and loop that over there. 
Oh no, where should I put it? Let's see, will it just go over your shoulder, lovely? Oh no, not very well, but okay. I'm going to split it again. Let's see, let me just do that so it's out of the way. And I'm going to split this one now in half. Although, can you see there? I've got, even though I split it in half at the top, it's not equal at the bottom. So I'm just going to redo that. So I want these sections to be similar in weight. So just keep going. So you've got, so obviously with a ponytail, you're getting hair from all over the head. So some parts are long, some parts are thick, like shorter. Okay, that's better. Okay, so what I'm going to do now then is I'm going to tie this off with a clear elastic. Okay, now I'm going to go about, mm, let's see, when I get it on, let's have a look. Put this elastic on it and then I'll do a little bit of a measurement. Let's see where it gets to. So, I mean, I'm using clear, you could use colours, but you're not going to see them. So it doesn't really matter too much. Okay. Right. So, yeah, so it's about, it's like, it's like a whole hand, really, what I've done there. And I'm going to repeat that on this section just here. So I'm getting my second one in. I want to try and get the elastic to be at the same height like this. So now I'm going to talk to my future self. I'm just, it's just so strange because obviously I'm going to be watching this. Hopefully you're going to be watching with me and we'll be able to comment on what's going on. And uh, depending on whereabouts we're watching this, I've got no idea what day this will, what, obviously it's Saturday, but I don't know what, um, I'm not sure exactly when I'm going to post this one. Okay. So there we go, split that one again, tie it with an elastic. So I mean, it's going to, it's going to almost look like a bit of like a uh, octopus. <laughs> we can have four at the bottom and then four at the top. Okay, so they're going in lovely. But if your daughter's got lots of little wispy hairs, you might want to um, spray it with some water and then maybe a little bit of spray um, spray gel or a little bit of like palm aid, like just a little bit of that cream, just to run it through, just to kind of, you know, join all those little bits together. It will, um, I can't get mine very easily, I don't think, but I've got one by Aussie and it's just like a little white cream. You can just rub it through your hands and just pull it through and it just kind of, just joins everything together really nicely. Okay, so I'm gonna take this out carefully. There we go. Oh, it's not done any damage, that's good. Okay, so let's do this top half now. So I'm gonna split this one up here. Now I'm guessing these are going to end up being thinner than the um, bottom ones, because obviously I've got the top section of the hair here. And if you've got hair like my daughter's, like, even though she's never had a fringe, she still always gets new baby hair. So I'm just going to try and keep spitting this. And I'm using the comb to section it, just so it kind of gives a nicer, cleaner finish when you've parted them. Just run the comb through again. When I do these ones, I'm going to do them sort of upwards. Because... Obviously, I'm making a bun shape, so I want the hair to be going in the direction that it's going to go in, a, like, at the end. So keep going, doing a few more. So I'm pretty sure that's the same. It's pretty similar. Okay, this is where you're going to go, poof, 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 it's all in my face, so maybe she might want to hold it out of her way. Okay, do another one here. Get this elastic. I wonder how many of you have got daughters that do dancing or need a bun for cheerleading. I mean, what else do you have buns for? Cheerleading? I know, I bet cheerleading you have like curly bunches or something, don't you? Something really fun. Um, I think horse riding you need a bun, don't you? But that would be a low down bun to go underneath the hat. Um, yeah, I think definitely dancing, like dance recitals. 
Okay, so we haven't got too many more to go. I've only got the two. We are getting there, guys. Nearly there. So I can tell you what we've been doing today. So this is so this is what we've been doing today. So today is oh the 25th of July. So I know when we watch this, it's not going to be the 25th of July, but today is the 25th of July, and today is the day before we go on our holiday. And um, that has involved a lot of jobs <laughs> because my children were like isolating and so I've not been able to get lots of my jobs done. Um, so yes, I've had to do a lot of things with them now they're out of isolation or out of... And then even when they weren't iso um, isolating, my little girl was having to do remote learning because her class had closed, but she could be at school, but there, was, there wasn't a class for her because everyone else by that point had then had to isolate. So she was in home learning. I didn't really like to leave her like home learning on her own for too long um so yeah popping over to the caravan we've had to do we've had to go to the guinea pig hotel today to go and drop off the guinea pigs and um yeah my little girl was so worried she was like, oh will they hug them will they cuddle them will they will they be kind to them and i think they will but it has been such a busy day such a busy day okay so now we've got i mean look at these oh, this is looking quite interesting isn't it quite like the look of that so what I'm going to do with this top one up here and I'm going to do it in the direction that I wanted to go so these four in fact just so I don't get carried away chatting to you all let me whoops let me um just clip these ones so I remember that these are bottom ones okay so these are top ones I'm going to just put my finger through the center and then I'm going to flip the hair through like that okay and I think, in fact, I'm going to do that again. Okay, so I'm going to do it two times. Whoops, and look, can you see? It's already trying to become a bun. <laughs> um, and do this one as well. So flip that one through. And then flip it through again. There we go. Oh! <laughs> you, don't, you don't want to stay still, do you? Whoops, oh my gosh, I've got the dropsies. What is wrong with me today? A really bad case of the dropsies. <laughs> okay, pop you there. Pop this one here, split it. I'm going to put it through on itself. So, I mean, this is this is quite, you know, a lot of like, you know, decoration is preparation. You've got to do all the, you get it all prepared, get it all ready before you then do the wow. The wow kind of turning it into that bun. So there we go. So I've got the four like that. Oh, oh, now have I? Maybe I've done it two. Let's see. Hang on. Will it be better that just with one? Maybe it's yeah. I'll just stick with the one. Maybe it's maybe it's because of her hair. Maybe it's because it's I don't know. Although I can do it two times in my daughter's hair, so I don't know why it's. Although I have just straightened this doll. And I don't straighten my daughter's hair, so maybe that's why. I'm just going to go for one twist. Maybe in your daughter's hair you'll be able to do the two, but I think maybe because I just straightened this doll, it's not letting me do two twists. I had to straighten it because it was um, getting so um, fluffy um, from being braided and undone and done again and braided and undone. Right, so I'm going to just do these ones just the once because um, they're desperate to undo themselves anyway, aren't they? Okay, so... We've now got, and by the way, I don't know if you know, but these, when you do that, they make a great fake fishtail. I mean, if I just bring that close to you, look how cool they are. They look like little fishtails, don't they? And if you tease them out, they look really, really, really good. Okay, so what I'm going to do then is I'm going to just place them, turn her around a bit, and kind of hold them in this place like that Ooh, and try and get them to go up whoops where I want them to be so I want to kind of arrange them around that initial ponytail that we just did and then look at that look how pretty that is so I saw this on Pinterest and um, it didn't have a, it, I, it didn't have a name with it it just said like hair tips or hair tricks or something it didn't didn't have anybody's name nobody was credited so if anyone knows who this was it, it was just sort of a random model and someone had just done it and 
I just thought, wow, that's just so amazing. So I've tried it a couple of times and it's, it's just amazing. Okay, so what I'm going to do now then, now I've pinned all those down, is I'm just going to just gently and carefully just sort of spin these bits around. A little bit like, you know, when you sometimes do a donut bun, you've got all these extra hairs sort of hanging out. Just wrap them around a little bit like that. And then just pin them in place. I don't see you can see what I'm doing. So I'm just going to pin these in like that. And the trick with these pins, guys, is you don't really need to open them up. They've already got an opening, and that opening is the amount that the, the pin's going to be able to handle. So all you need to do is just wrap the hair around and then just use it as it is. Make sure you catch the hair that you want. But that's what the pin can handle. It can manage that amount. And then I'm just going to go around, sort of catching. You see where they're kind of coming together? I'm just going to catch this little end and then just pin it down on itself. Okay, so I'm going to get the next one. So I'm going to do this eight times. Just going to get the ends of that one, just the very sort of ends by the elastic and just pull it in on itself like that. And keep going around. Okay, Ooh, get that one. And then we're just hiding what we've, um, I've caught a pin, I can't go through it, I can't get it in. Where's the pin? I can't get the pin. Let's try a different direction, there we go. If at first you don't succeed, try, try, try again. Here we go. Do that one there. Oops. And this is where you can kind of get the shape a bit nicer because you're sort of pulling it around and... So I'm, I'm literally, I mean, look at that. I'm just kind of, look. Just, I'm just getting it to just do its job, really. I'm not even... I'm just pulling it down slightly. Just that tiny little amount. Okay. So again on here. Oh, I don't know if you can hear that. My husband's just started hoovering. It's nothing worse than coming home to a messy house. So yeah, we've like got a hoover everywhere because you want to come home and it'd be nice and tidy. <laughs> but then we've got the problem with the house plants. What do you what do you do with all your house plants when you go on holiday, guys? We've got my mother-in-law popping around on a couple of times. So that'll be good. Hopefully come in um because I did think about just sticking them all in the bath, but um yeah, I don't think lots of them like to go in the bath, like have like be too drowned. So there we go. And that's why you want to use the clear elastics. If you know, see so it doesn't kind of shine through too much. And then what have I got? I had oh I did get a bow out, here it is. And I was going to get, you know, get your daughters to help me pick the colour, but obviously we can't do that. So I'm just going to pop that on the top there. I mean, obviously a bow, optional, you don't need to use a bow. But um, yeah, there is the finished look, guys. I think, actually, I'm so much quicker when I'm not gibbering away to you all, aren't I? <laughs> but I like chatting to you. I like it when you're all here with me and we're all doing it together. Um, yeah, so just have a little play with it. But it just creates this really pretty looking i mean if you flip it through the two times i think it keeps these tighter but again maybe it's because she's i don't know children's hair is softer so maybe children's hair would just flip more easily i don't know but um yeah this is i haven't i didn't practice this because you know i'm trying to get a lot filmed in one go so um yeah but this i have done well i have done it on my daughter but i've not done it on the mannequin's hair so maybe that maybe it's just her hair type i don't know everything's different isn't it but you can just have a little play a little tweak and then yeah that's that but that's going to stay in so well that's such a really good bun and you get this really lovely sort of twisted spirally effect there so I hope you like it. I hope whatever you're doing, wherever you are, I hope it's sunny. I hope Caroline's in the garden with her, like, you know, gin and a tin and um, the parasol up. And um, I will see you 
next time hopefully the next time i see you it will be live live so anyway take great care and i can't wait to see how you get on with this okay i mean and also um what was i going to say yeah depending on the length that you have these you could make this bun bigger if your elastics were not as close if you can't you know how i had it up here if you had your elastics longer you'd end up with kind of more of a poof coming out and then you get pinner pinner you get it wider and then you get to pin these further away from the actual bun itself ponytail i mean but anyway it's just a case of playing with it and having a little tweak and seeing how you get on but it's just a nice little way to do a bun okay so i'll see you soon bye everyone